I woke up one morning after showering, and I walked out into the hall by the closet, the one that housed the AC units and vents, and I heard this little rumble, like a small twiddling through some plastic bags. These are the bags, the ones that I had kept some nails in and staples for lining my telephone and Ethernet, and it was a possum. He was still alive, his nose was twitching. He or she, it, it was still a baby. It must have fell through a gap somehow from the ceiling in the ventilation duct, and it was leading to a vent out of the roof, and he was all alone. There was no food, no water. He was scared, I'm sure, I'm sure it was, or he, maybe he was perfectly content. I mean, I'm no possum, so it was a little hard to empathize with its circumstance of being there all alone. No home or mother, some utility closet in a, in, in a, a tool bag, or I mean, it was a pet bag. It was a, it was a pet bag. It, it was a, a bag for, for pets that I was using for a tool bag. Anyway, it was cold, and I called the maintenance guy in our complex and reported I had a, a, a loose varmint in my household. And I mean, I meant no harm. There was my, 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 but my, my, my cats were flipping out, trying to claw under the vents, and they were pawing at the door and chipping away at the wood, and they were trying to get at it, sniffing, hissing, investigating, prowling, hunting. Hunting the, the loneliness that wept on on the other side <laughs> of the door. Now, the innocent, the young life, the this thing, this the very, anyway, the very next day, the little intruder was gone, supposedly taken away and caged. Now, the maintenance people were going to release it into the wild. And Kenny, the maintenance manager, told me it would happen. Well, now, this is weird. The next week at this, the next week, I found another possum. It was same size, same nose, identical in nature, but dead. I think, I'm, I'm no possum, but I do believe that they are known to play dead in self-defense. But this one wasn't moving his nose like last time. He smelled dead. Now surely if he smelled dead and he was all alone, okay, surely it found its way or fell through the same gap and got trapped the same way. You know, the, the gap was supposedly supposed to be repaired by the utility closet, but it, it must have fell down searching. Maybe smelled its mother or its brother or sister or whoever was first discovered in the cage. And I guess it was supposed to be released into the wild. But I figured the dead pasta must have starved to death. No food, no water. And, that, and that's what happens to life when trapped in a utility closet and shut off from the world behind a closet for too long. I mean, this particular second possum that I found that looked exactly like the first possum. Okay. Now, at least to this little guy, this moment of life, abandoned, forgotten, or, you know, maybe maybe Kenny killed the initial possum and planted it there and never released it, you know, to be cruel. <laughs> nah, nah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe not. These are the things that I think of now. You know, I pick apart like a detective and I analyze to keep me away from the image of her, to stop me from remembering, you know, something to focus 